need help. No more. Effie, no, so how does it all working against me? This kid won't be my undoing. I want him and everything he loves killed. I had everything set up for me. Life, school, my family was away safely. I'm not letting nobody take that from me. I gotta become the apex predator. Three. My dad tried his hardest to keep me away from this. Now look how I turned out. I gotta use all the good parts of him, the bad parts of him. They gotta get what's coming to them. I'm what's up with last niggas? This your boy Jay Miles, and now I'm back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your glad friends. On today's video, we will be discussing how Tariq manipulates Noma's daughter, Anya, to take down Noma. That's right. So, this video right here will be about how Tariq basically takes a play out of Kanan's playbook, who took a play out of Breeze's playbook, and basically, you know, it's the same thing resurfacing again, I believe, because although we haven't seen it yet, I'm pretty sure, you know, Breeze manipulated Kanan, and Kanan used that, you know, to manipulate um, to manipulate Tariq and to basically, you know, growing a hatred for Ghost after he figured out who Ghost really was. Well, according to this story, we can pretty much, you know, see that pretty much, you know, Norma lives two different lives as well. Like, she's a mommy to her daughter, and I, I'm pretty sure her daughter is very unaware of what she actually does because you can tell by some of the descriptions that they're saying that you know she's um she's being exposed or whatever and, and it also tells us in the synopsis that Tariq and Braden is is going to target um her daughter Anya so with that being said I'm going to give y'all my opinion of how this all is going to play out well, my prediction. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, in season, what was it? In season three, Kanan finally met Tariq. You know what I'm saying? And um, and ultimately, you know, his plan was to use Tariq and take him back and take him back to, uh, you know, Breeze's old apartment where Ghost shot his best friend Breeze at, right? He's planning on putting them in the same area, put them on the couch with the TV playing, and he's going to shoot them in the back of their head, just like they said Ghost, you know, allegedly did to Breeze. However, after hearing Tariq, you know what I'm saying, after hearing Tariq's um, hatred for Ghost because of how things has been playing out with him leaving, you know, leaving um, their his mom for Angela and things of that nature, um, Kanan decided not to not to kill him because he'd be like, okay, this little nigga could be useful to me. So, the reason that I'm, I'm bringing this up is because, I, as I just told you in the beginning of this video, I believe the ugly ass nigga Tariq will do the same tactics that the ugly ass nigga Kanan used on him. So, um, I believe he's gonna, Tariq is gonna pay a visit to the school and find Anya Covington because obviously she's a, she's a major factor and key to you know Tariq winning this war. So what he's gonna do? He's gonna go. He's gonna find to find Anya and once and with the intentions of I'm gonna grab her, take her hostage, and possibly even kill her. Maybe that was his first intentions. I'm not exactly sure. And how, and in my opinion, I think what's going to play the major factors in whether or not his intentions is on when he finds her is if Anya has hurt someone that he loves yet. Like, it depends. I mean, not Anya, I'm sorry. Noma have hurt someone that he loves yet. Like, if Noma hasn't, you know, 
killed his mama Tasha or his grandma Estelle. Obviously, you know, I don't think they're going to let anything happen to Yaz, but you just never know. But I'm just saying, you know, all of the people that Tariq deeply cares about, you know, if Noma hasn't touched any of them yet, then I can see him, you know what I'm saying, first initially just trying to gain access to her to, you know, get control of this world. I mean, of this war, because, you know, it's a it's a great chess move for him to, him to have. So, um, whatever one that was in play, I believe he's going to go and meet Anya with the with you know more darker intentions, and then once he actually meets her, he's going to be stunned by how beautiful she is, and she he's going to be kind of you know he's going to kind of take a liking to her because but he's still he's going to take um, Anya to a couple of um, you know places where his mother, her mother, you know does her work, maybe even show her video footage and proof. I don't know exactly how he's going to do it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to show Anya proof that, look, your mother is a lad nigga. She be selling drugs. She be doing all kinds of lad shit. And then it's going to change Anya's whole perception of how she sees her mother. And Tariq will successfully manipulate her the way Kanan did him. And check this out. I think eventually he's really going to take a liking to her. Like he's going to really, really start messing with her. And uh, and just as he starts to get close to um, get close to Anya, he's going to get that news that that Diana is pregnant by him. And now he will be cho- torn in between the two like Latoya Lucky. And this like lady going to be like, God damn, man, I really wanted to mess with Anya. But, for, but as you know, if you pay attention to Tariq, he's going to be family first. So he's going to go off and, you know, do what he got to do when it comes to Diana. Leaving um, Anya, you know, hurt and probably going to be super pissed off. But um, as I already told y'all in my previous videos, I think Diana will meet her end this year. So... Diana will meet his meet her her in, and I think with Tariq showing. Also, uh, I just want to touch on something real real quick with Diana meeting her in, right? I think more proof that letting y'all know that um, that Diana will die with Tariq's baby up in here is because we've seen this story before. Like I told y'all, power does a lot of things back to back. You know, just different age, different generations, but the same thing. So, um, if you pay attention, Tommy had a baby on the way, and what happened? He killed her, not unaware that Holly was pregnant. Um, although, you know, the ghost lost a child, you know. Raina, which is Tariq's sister. And also, in Raising Canaan, Kanan currently in the in the last season got the girl that he um he was with. What's what's her name? Doom 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 doom. Can't think of her name right now, but y'all know who I'm talking about. She was she was she told him that she was pregnant. Now a lot of people speculated and was like, oh, is that you know, is that is she pregnant with Sean? Is that Sean's mom? No, it is not. First off, the years don't even add up. So that tells me there. And it's saying that the Canaan's only son, only um, you know, child was Sean. So that means that somehow she must have lost that baby. It's either she was lying about it or she lost the baby some kind of way. And I believe the exact same thing is happening here. Diana will lose the baby because Diana will be killed. Sorry, but that's how I see it. So, with that being said, I do think after Diana is killed. Ultimately, Tariq probably will take a, you know, will end up with Anya. And it makes a lot of sense because remember how I told y'all that I, I, it's been teased that there will be a London spinoff, right? So with this, this um, London spinoff, um, I believe 
if Tariq does survive, and which I believe he probably will, and goes through it would return, all of them will travel to London, where I think it's possible that Noma may survive. You know what I'm saying? And she travels back to um, England too, or she could be killed. We'll, whichever one, it really doesn't matter. But the point is, the end game. They will be all back in London, right? And keep in mind, I told y'all, I believe Lauren will also be in London. I believe she traveled, got out of the country, and landed in London. Also, I believe once Tariq exposed to uh, Anya, because keep in mind, Anya's in school, just like Tasha. So I believe she's about to become Tariq's Tasha. And I think this is also, so maybe Anya will leave school early, just like Tasha did. Who knows? I'm not exactly sure, but they, I wouldn't be surprised if it played out like that. And they all moved to London because of, you know, maybe safety, you know, trying to get away from um, what's going on there, new environment, whichever way, whichever way it plays out, they're going to land in London. But I think after, you know, Tariq exposed uh, Anya to so much stuff and with um, her still having her mother Noma's blood in her, and also I think her father was a drug dealer as well, it's going to be in her blood and she's probably going to get deep off into this stuff that she, that it's not going to be, because Tariq's probably going to start to re-see everything. Like, he's going to notice that everything that his father was trying to protect him from you know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be true. He's gonna be like, wow, like my dad really tried to tell me about all of this. The drug dealing, the being torn torn between two women. He told me about that. Cause you remember in the beginning of season two, he was he told Tari, the last thing you wanna do is be a stuck between two women. So um also I think Anya, he's going to start to, you know, he's going to have love for her, but he's going to be like, man, I don't know. She started to be a little hell like, my, like, like Tasha or the ghost. But he, you know what I'm saying? He was such a mama's boy and stuff like that. He couldn't see it. But now with him, you know what I'm saying? Having more experience with women, being portrayed by Diana, being portrayed by Effie, he's going to notice that, damn, I understand exactly why my dad moved the way he moved. And now it's too late to tell me him. So he thinks. But anyways, uh, yes, uh, back to it. Um, going to, like I said, I believe they will go to London. Tariq probably will be successful and stuff like that. But is he going to be necessarily happy? Is Anya going to be able to, you know, be the true love of his life? I don't think so, because I believe the true love of his life is probably going to turn out to be Lauren, right? And it's going to be very similar to Ghost and, you know, Ghost, Tasha, and Angie's story. So keep in mind, I told y'all, they're going to be going to London. Lauren is going to be in London. And I believe in the brand new spinoff, they might skip a few years. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But all I know is that, you know, Tariq and Lauren will have some time away from each other. And eventually, I believe they will meet back up in London. And keep in mind, Courtney Kemp has teased that Tariq will meet a woman that makes him have to choose between, you know, his life, his lifestyle there and uh, with the drug game and, you know, being legit. So, with that being said, I believe Lauren will be the woman that makes him say, They'd be like, you You have to be legit. Like, I can't be around with all this drug shit, right? And I believe, ultimately, who knows? And I know I'm going years down the line now. I'm making it like a bold prediction because we're going years in the future now. But ultimately, I think he will choose that. But I don't know. Y'all these glad niggas let me know in the comments. Do y'all see this playing out? Will Tariq manipulate Anya? The way Canaan did him to use her for his own benefit, but ends up falling, you know, partially or maybe, you know, falling in love with her and really growing and taking a liking to her. 
Let me know in the comments, these glad niggas. But you know, pretty much that's all I got for y'all. So like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your ugly ass friends. But until the next video, I'm out.